Hello YouTube, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another video, and we're just going to briefly take a look at the newest Fast and Furious uh, segment here for premium Fast and the Furious. So this is Fast and the Furious, or Furious Off-Road, rather. A uh, quick look at the front of the card art. They all have basically the same front card art, um, just with a unique picture of the vehicle that is the car that you'll find in the package, of course, and then here is an example of the Carter on the rear. So, um, I've mentioned every time I do a Fast and the Furious uh, video uh, that I really am not familiar with the Fast and the Furious movie franchise. I still have not watched them, so at some point in time I will make it a point to watch them. Um, but the cars are pretty cool. This is kind of a unique series in that um, it's all mostly off-road vehicles. This is this is the only one I guess that would be considered not necessarily off-road, even though it would be like an all-wheel drive um, vehicle. This is kind of like the only real car, like straight car in the lineup, is this one right here, which is the Impreza WRX STI. And here it is. It looks pretty good. So, uh, this casting, I don't think the casting is new. Um, yeah, copyright date 2011. So, this actually debuted in the 2012 mainline. But this is the first time that this vehicle has ever been seen with a metal base. So, this is a brand new um, first time seen metal base. Uh, I believe it's the first time it's had rubber tires as well. Um, and it looks decent. Of course, we got full deco on these models, but it is the current method of doing graphics for Mattel, which I somewhat complain about every single time I do a video on one of these newer premium series, is that it just doesn't have a very high resolution, which is unfortunate. My guess actually is it's not that it makes the vehicles possibly cheaper to produce from a materials standpoint. Uh, my guess is it makes them quicker on a production line. Um, I don't know, though. I'm not sure. I mean, they're they're able to do full graphics, and they just don't look as good as, as sharp as some of the older models did um, with a different method of printing these on. So you got carbon fiber, full carbon fiber here on the hood, and... Uh, Again, full deco. It does look pretty good, though, for sure. All right, so that is your first model in the series. And this is the only casting in this series that is not technically brand new. Um, the next one we got here is this Mercedes-Benz G-Class, 1991. And this tire is basically a new off-road tire as well. I think it might have been seen on that RLC. Was it on the RLC F, uh, Ford Raptor? It might have been. Um, but anyway, so here's this. Um, brand new casting. Uh, pretty cool new casting. Nice, nice to see some more off-road trucks. So Mercedes, and again we get um, full deco. So you're going to get uh, rear detail. You're going to get front detail. If there's any detail on the side, you'll get that as well. Uh, these are all metal. Oh, some weird little piece of tape on the bottom. And this is a nice matte finish. Kind of army green. And it looks pretty good. That's a nice looking model, I would say. What do you guys think of that one? pretty cool there's really not much to talk about here because there's really i mean the model looks good it's it's metal body metal base it's rubber tires full deco it's everything you want in a premium hot wheel and it's a brand new casting so there's nothing really to talk about as far as the history of the casting goes but uh definitely a cool new model so this is an interesting set i actually to be honest i really kind of debated on not even picking this set up uh, here's a Land Rover Defender 110 hardtop. Um, I knew I wanted to get a couple of them, but I was just not debating on getting the whole set. And the two I really wanted to get, one was this one here, this Land Rover Defender, this all blacked out Land Rover, which to me is probably the winner 
in the series. And the Mercedes. These are the really the two that I wanted. I ended up just getting the whole series though. And this one has a plastic top. So you can see that there. It's got a plastic top, metal body, of course, metal base. The uh, fender flares here are plastic. Part of a plastic piece that I'm guessing is the same piece as the interior. Same off-road tires. And this one just looks pretty awesome. It looks pretty sharp and just this black. Uh, the top looks a little bit more glossy than the sides do. It's more kind of a matte finish, but uh, the top being plastic gives it kind of a glossy look. I guess that's the only unfortunate part about it is this top being plastic. It would be cool if, if it was plastic because it was somewhat removable and maybe did something, but it's not. So... All right, there you have it. I can see a lot of people doing some cool customs with this, though. All right, next up is the 67 Off-Road Camaro. This thing's wild. Um, yeah, I thought about picking up this one, too, if I saw it in the stores. But like I said, I ended up getting the whole set, so... Mm, it's pretty cool. I guess I don't foresee this being um, released in too many lineups besides Fast and Furious. I think this is probably going to be the only uh, series I could really see this in, used in, but who knows. Um, so it's got silver paint. It is metal body, metal base. Of course, it's got the off-road tires, the same ones. Pretty much almost all the cars in this, except, all the cars except for the Subaru have this off-road tire. So the Subaru is definitely the odd man out in here, but they probably are limited to what they're going to do if they're going to uh, make it a fa Fast and the Furious series. And it does look pretty pretty mean, though, this Camaro. I like the actual body casting. I think it looks pretty awesome. Yeah, all in all, not bad. So ooh, the front, like the front bumpers and stuff, those are all part of, I think they're, yeah, they're part of the metal base. So they're metal up front. It's kind of neat. Pretty cool. All right. And then lastly, we get the Hummer H1. So big Hummer. And this also is a brand new casting. Pretty heavy guy. It's got, uh, of course, a metal body, metal base. It's got the rubber tires. Uh, this one, the front like brush guard is plastic, likely part of the interior. Again, of course, we get full deco, and again, we get matte finish um, in kind of the khaki paint color. So yeah, I just wanted to show this series somewhat briefly. Uh, mainly because it's just, you know, I've shown the other Fast and the Furious series, so I might as well just keep it up and continue and just keep showing them. So this one, for me, not much of a hit. This is really awesome looking. Um, the Camaro's pretty cool. This thing's pretty cool, too. Uh, the Hummer's all right. I'm a huge Humvee, I don't know, fan, but it looks pretty good. And then uh, this thing is just kind of, eh. Don't really care about it so much. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Would you pick this series up? Um, would you pick it up if you found it, if you have not already? And uh, let me know what you think about it. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Just a quick one for you. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And have a good day.